Hey guys, welcome back to Set Streets and Eats. I am in front of a Chuck E. Cheese in Placentia, California. Placentia is about 40 miles outside of downtown Los Angeles. Um, I am here to check out the first for me. I'm here to see another rare Chuck E. Cheese stage and I hope you guys will join me. Let's go see it. This is cool. Pasquale! Jasper! Helen and Munch! And Chuck! So this is my first road stage. So road stages started being used back in 1990. They started putting them in. They basically took the balcony stages and the rocker stages, the really early pizza time theater stages, or animatronics, I should say, and started putting them in because they were half bodies. So they put them into this new format. So the idea was that Helen, Jasper, and Pasquale are on buildings, basically. Um, the early format for this had buildings, some light posts, and then they had a road, hence the name the road stage. Um, these buildings were supposed to set on the side of the road, therefore uh, it was the road stage. Road's long been taken out, and uh, basically you can imagine you're going by on a road and you're seeing these buildings. So the other really cool thing about feature about the road stages are they have the names, usually, Jasper's is gone, but Usually they have the names of the characters right on the boxes, so it helped the kids learn the names of the characters. Um, Jasper's is gone, of course. Munch's isn't there, but most of the Munch's, or most of the road stages didn't have Munch's name. There is one in California that has Munch's name hang from underneath the uh, keyboard. Um, but yeah, this is, uh, this is the road stage. Um, I've heard about this for a while. Never seen one myself. Pretty stoked to see it, and they look to be in pretty decent shape. So of course they utilized Duke's old drum from the rocket fire explosion. Um, but basically the all the animatronics were never rocket fire animatronics, they were always, or creative engineering animatronics, they were always cer uh, ceramic, not ceramic, cyberamic, good lord. All these are cyberamic animatronics, obviously, um, but they definitely, of course, kept the drum. Uh, Chuck has the microphone still in his hand because he's here to entertain and do some stand-up. He's got a tight 10, folks, a tight 10. Munch has a pretty sweet ball cap. That's his Munch's Make Believe Band ball cap. Very nice. Jasper's very suspicious and clearly angry at Pasquale. Keeping his back to him. Very trusting sort, Jasper is. This Pasquale looks like he's gonna stab him with one of those spoons. So instead of drumsticks, Pasquale has spoons because he's got fake drums up here, but I guess he's playing the fake drums with the spoons. Because he's multi-talented. Not only can he make amazing pizza, but he can play drums with spoons, wooden spoons. That's pretty tremendous. Of course, we got the Warhol pieces. A lot of modern art that doesn't really have dates and it's very generic. We also do not have a wink. We have a two-eyed Chucky. I guess a one-eyed Chucky would sound dirty, but two-eyed Chucky is right up there at the top. Just says Chucky cheese underneath. Got the stars, the white stars, and the white and red banner. Looks good.
I am struck right away by how big this road stage is. I guess my thought was when you hear half animatronics, I thought the stage would be a bit smaller and maybe that was for size, but it's really not. It's just the design of it. And you know, the boxes or buildings that they're on are at least as tall, if not taller than the actual animatronic. Um, of course, Chucky's on a platform because he would look really short next to them. But uh, yeah, because the whole stage looks to be only like maybe two foot off the ground, but uh, they're all, you know, the animatronics are start at my chest level. So they start like six feet off the ground almost. Quite large, quite large. But I really like the road stage. Uh, this is pretty cool. I'd love to see an old one that actually had the road and the lamppost, but that may have only been during prototype time back in the early 90s, and that was in the Midwest. Now today, there's only 10 of these left, by the way. As of this month, there's 10 road stages left. Um, I want to say they're split almost evenly between the East and West Coast. Um, I know there's several here in the LA area, and then there's several in the New Jersey, New York area. Recently, I've been spending a little more time at home, like a lot of people these days, hanging out on my own. Filling my time with fun things is really not that tough, but finding that one group action is proving too rough. I've done puzzles, tried juggling, coloring magic too. Video chat is fun, especially when it's with you. Gaming, binge watching, I even tried croquet, but nothing has been quite as fun as my new hobby called crochet. Crochet all day. Started with the basics, I made a scarf or two, then a hat, a sweater, mittens, a blanket, I even made it the new. Then I got creative, now don't you call it weird. I covered the walls, made closer my dolls, crocheted myself a beard. I made pizza, a salad, I even made my friends, a flamingo, a giraffe, and a herd of elephants. My bedroom, my bathroom, my front door, my toupee. Everything inside my house is now made out of crochet, crochet. That was cool. That was my first road stage. If you want to see more of these Chuck E. Cheese stage visits, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I'm going to hit a few of these in the Los Angeles area and check out the differences in them. So if you'd like to check those out, hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys next time. Bye now.